All right, we're gonna try a bit of a quick little face here, just to get back in the swing of things. I don't have a lot of a memory here, so I've got a nice little corner piece here. Uh, I've mentioned before in other videos, but having it proportional uh, is kind of important on these corner faces. When you have too much in one direction, it uh, can easily mess things up here. So we split this in about to like two thirds, you know? I got a little bit of pencil mark here, that's what that is. All right, so we're just gonna use a little folding knife, pocket knife here. It's an old uh, case from my grandfather. And then we're gonna make a little mark for his nose. The nose, as long as you don't do the beard right now, you can kind of change that later. And, you know, we're gonna kind of take this stuff down too. You can see there, I'm, I'm splitting the wood. So it's one of the times when you can use the weakness of the wood grain in your favor. Alright, so we just start with pretty much stop cuts, and because I've done this before, I kind of know maybe, I have a little better idea where the stop cuts are going to be, uh, and how deep they're going to be specifically, but on these corner faces it's much easier to get a nose out, and just a three-dimensional face, since you don't have to, you don't have to dig out a bunch of wood. And the face is already kind of in this shape, so we're just going to keep going. Oh boy, this wood is hard. Oh, I went into that side. Whoops. Okay, you see this? Yeah. These are the saw marks going this way, but that's the grain going this way. And we probably could have gone this side. It would have been easier. But this will give us some nice detail, nice little finish. Whenever wood grain is hard, as long as your knife can cut through it, generally have a better finished product. Finished product? We're not selling these, okay. All right, so just go real deep. Boy, you can hear that, it doesn't even sound nice. <laughs> Whoops, that flew across the room. All right, yeah. And we'll make the nose smaller later. This may seem a little bit big. We do stylize this. I say we, I stylize bit on these faces. I'm going to dig on the sides here. Just really dig in there. Right. So this, you know, this is a stop cut on the bottom of the nose here, obviously, but you'll do it a V shape, but you'll eventually want to <clears throat> make the bottom of the nose here. Um, I do them kind of going straight in eventually, and even sometimes going up a little bit. I have to edit out this video. I'm coughing. Edit it out the audio. I mean, okay. So we go pretty deep here. Take it off a little bit more. All right. So we're gonna do this with just a V tool. Oops. I don't have it here. Just a V tool and this one blade here. All right. So now that we've got this in here, we're gonna just go ahead and start digging. You don't want the tips of your VTOOL to get in too deep. Um, and this, I don't have my regular tools with me. My normal uh, Deep Woods Ventures blade and nicer gouges. But as I told people before, the flex cut tools, especially this travel tool, it's uh, definitely workable. You, over time, you know, when you sharpen it, you're going to lose a lot of the shape or whatever, but they come ready to use and they're totally usable, um, as opposed to a lot of the cheaper options. It's kind of really the only uh, cheaper option that there is that's functional. All right, and we're not finishing these eyes right now, but we're just going to get a little idea of where they're going to be. And that's somewhat for uh, just confidence, you know, as we're carving, so it just doesn't look bad. I mean, you guys saw before I got this oh my god that was the dog burping <clears throat> okay maybe that didn't get picked up on the audio I'm sorry if you didn't get to hear that beautiful noise okay boy this is rough all right shape up that nose a little bit make it a little bit thinner okay and his eyes, he, he looks a little bit sick. One of his eyes is down a little bit. So we're not going to do the whole back of it. We're just really going to do kind of a, a bit of a hooded figure. And 
you know, when these are just on display, like you're just giving them to somebody, nobody's going to see the back anyway, right? So we're just doing a quick little buddy here. Okay, now we need to get the side of his mustache going. Dun, 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 dun. Oop, try not to sing songs that's copyrighted. Okay. So you see his nose is taking a little bit of a shape there. I'm going to shape it a little bit more, a little bit more narrow. You can always take away the wood, but I guess you can add it if you're into super glue. Okay, we're going to make this deeper here. Because we've, we've gone in so much for his nose that he has a, a bit of a forehead there, didn't he? You see, I'm using my thumb here. Uh, this is some, for some back pressure, so that it doesn't when it, when the, when the wood releases, I'm not just blowing into the nose there. Blowing the nose. All right, get a little bit of eyebrow out there. Okay, he's looking pretty beautiful. Keep shaping the side of that nose and a little bit of his cheeks there. All right, we're gonna move back over to this tool, V tool. Clean this up a little bit. Now we're going to get the sides of the mustache out here. A little bit of the side of the nose and nostrils. And cut into this one. Get a little bit of shape there. Go a little bit deeper on the nose. Alright, and then... Goes to the mustache. You always kind of got to do a mustache and beard. The wood spirit guys, right? Lips look okay, but the beard's just... So easy to pull off. He has a pretty big nose. I was saying we were going to shorten it. It didn't really get shortened. All right. There we go. This is kind of the only way to do it right here. To bring the top of it up. I'm pull a point right here. Top of his mustache. And we're going to bring that mustache in. And it looks like I'm going to cut my hand there. But I've done it enough times to not do it. Okay, let's go back to his eyes and get these a little bit deeper. Oop, a little bit too deep on the wings of the V-tool. Alright, a little rounded cut for the bottom. You're gonna round those a little bit while you're cutting. Get a little bit of that bottom back there. Gotta get that bottom back. Gonna give him a little bit of bags in the eyes, which are also kind of his cheekbones. Hard to tell a little stylized character like this. Alright. And so this guy's hood thing is gonna go down about here. Alright. I didn't go with the green, so let's smooth that out. I did over here. Bring that down there. That will work better, huh? Let's Alright, and he's gonna need some eyebrows. You can see again with the thumb, it's uh, creating some back pressure so I don't stab myself too bad. Alright, and okay, we're gonna do the side of his cheek and beard. I'm kinda going the wrong way on the grain for this upper part. Come back down and do that again. We're still roughing out, so it's okay if the stab goes through, goes a little bit of his mustache. I'll clean it up in a second. We're not doing a super nice looking guy here anyway. It's okay if he's got some defects. As long as there's no flipper babies, right? forehead a little bit. He's got a bit of a forehead, but we're not worried. A bit of a Doogie Hauser forehead. For those of you who remember Doogie Hauser. Yeah, I saw, uh, boy, what is his name? I can't remember it, so I'm gonna drop that reference immediately. <laughs> Great job. <clears throat> Got a 
bit of an any face. You know, some people get. Boy, this wood is hard. Not very satisfying to cut. I had asked for some scrap wood from my wood source lumber from you on eBay. And I got it. Got a bunch of wood. It's real nice. I gotta say, I mean, again, we kind of went on the wrong side here. And you can see, even though it doesn't sound real great, it's making beautiful cuts. You can see how shiny they are. Man, the, the wood, the grab bags in the, the craft stores, at least in America, Hobby Lobby and Michael's, has just been atrocious. It's really gone downhill. And so I'm happy to have some of the personal sellers, private sellers, whatever you call them, the sellers of privates. All right, we're going to stop with that before we get carried away. We're going to get his nose a little bit more. Whoops. Whoops. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay. Funny noses are attractive, right? And let's, see, let's go back over here. Clean up the side of his nose a wee bit. Just kind of stab that in there a little tiny bit. Alright. Uh, he's looking pretty delicious. I screwed up there. <laughs> yep, I went too far. Uh, you know, we're trying to leave this piece pretty clean since we're uh, it's a bit stylized, and we're gonna leave a lot of the bricks. So you want to try not have like a bunch of cuts just rip into that wood there. All right, we'll come back with a knife for that one. All right, we're gonna go ahead and do his little eyebrows. Right, a little bit deeper or on the inside. Okay, so let's round off his forehead here. I'm digging a little bit, even though we're not spending a whole lot of time on this fellow. I know you guys didn't really need to see another face video, but I'm trying to work my chops back up. Get back into the swing of things. And let's see here. All right. So let's go ahead and just power through his beard. This is just a slightly low. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Didn't mean to power through that much. Uh, okay. So what happens when you start at the beginning. Uh, not at the beginning. At the start of that wood there. At the edge. Really pry off some wood. All right, so another stylized beard here. Uh, you know, it's I meant to make that big shape because it's giving him, it's giving the whole beard some shape, so it's not just square. Sorry, I mean smack my lips. I'll delete that out. All right, I'm gonna dry this up. And get some over here. Some facial hairs. All right, now the rest of his beard up till his little hoodie type of thing. He looks more of like a, uh, I don't know, an old school like religious guy maybe. A little bit? No, nobody. All right. Okay. Let's clean this out a little bit. Yeah, we're not gonna spend too much time on this guy. I keep having to dump the uh, memory stick. I've not gotten my video set up properly. My videotaping procedure set up. Okay, so here goes our little simple eye procedure. Now, so we're using the, the knife at this angle, right? Because the wider part is on this side. So we're just gonna dig that in, okay? And then on this side, do it there. And then we're gonna go over here, do it on this side. Again, thick knife, uh, thick part of the knife on the inside. Over here, going to the outside. And that kind of that shapes that pupil, and then the pupil and the iris. And then we give him a little bit of a, a whatever there. Now, if you want to touch it up just a little bit more, just do a little bit of a line right there. You can always do these lines just to add some shadow. 
And if you're going to finish it, uh, you know, do the matte urethane and then a, uh, you know, antique finish, those lines will really pop out. So there you go. There you have it. There's my little very quick face. And I hope you guys enjoyed this. I know I didn't, but it's good to get back into this and get things moving in your life. All right, guys. Take care.